Sunday show, very special Sunday show this week, uh, week. man, I need water, <laughs> um, August 31st, 2014, special guest appearance, Sean Green, yeah, Sean, Sean Green, thanks for having me on, man, Sean's famous for Comedy Garage, Stacking the Money Green, that's, that's what I heard, that's his handle, Stacking the Money, yeah, that's my handle for the Sports Gambling Podcast, yes, the Sports Gambling Podcast, yeah, nice. Yeah, I've seen it. It's it's 
I, like I, if you want to get caught back up on football and you want to learn how to bet and make a few extra dollars at the same time, then what you do is you tune in to Sean and uh, his buddy Ryan and you find out who to bet on and <clears throat> what the odds are and uh, who their picks are for the uh, Super Bowl and stuff like that. Of course, they never give you any real picks, and then they're going to change <laughs> repeatedly I'm, throughout the season. Now, I'm confused as to how sports gambling works. Sure. Now, because I know how it used to work before the Internet. Okay. Like you had a bookie and... Yeah, yeah. It's well. It was like it was illegal. Like smoking weed was illegal, <laughs> right? You know? Yeah, it's still kind of. There's a lot of gray area. It's actually completely legal to gamble on fantasy football. It's some weird, uh, weird. loophole because because it's it involves, not a game. Well, yeah, technically, or, it involves skill. Yeah. They say so. It, it's some weird delineation. So fantasy football is completely legal, and online sports gambling. It's one of those things where it's more. It's it's technically maybe illegal, but it's not prosecuted. Like, they'll just go after the sports betting website, not yeah. the person. Same thing with the online poker. And uh, But, yeah, more and more companies are making it legal. But, yeah, it's pretty easy. You just go to uh, – well, let's say you go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com. There's a uh, – we have a – we're hooked up with a sports betting site. You click the link. You sign up, you know, whatever money you want to deposit. Uh, you get, like – you actually get a sign-up bonus. And then uh, – yeah, from there, it's pretty easy. You just click and make your bets, send it. You can do it on your phone. I mean, that's the problem is it's almost too accessible because it's, it's, <laughs> too, it's too easy to do. You can be driving in traffic and all of a sudden decide, you know, you think the lines are going to cover the spread, whip out your phone, you know, make a couple bets. It's, uh, it's, what it's do you pretty th- easy. What do you think about the Lions this year? Well, that's an interesting uh, – you know, I'm not totally high on the Lions. I think uh, – I, I mean, they got Matt Stafford – and Calvin Johnson, so they're always going to be kind of competitive. But I, I don't know. I don't like their coach. I don't think Jim Caldwell is that good. I think there's still a lot of questions on okay, the defense. Fuck them. What about the Seahawks? Seahawks? I mean, what's what's not to like about the Seattle Seahawks? Walt, you predicted they would win the Super Bowl last year. And granted, you were from Seattle and you were drunk, so no one took the prediction seriously. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking preseason, I said that. Yeah, you said they were going all the way, which – I say about the Eagles every year, so I, I didn't. Then really- I told them they're going to blow the Broncos out in the Super Bowl, <laughs> and they thought I was crazy then too. Yeah, well, I did, I did, I did bet on the the Seahawks for the Super Bowl, but no, I didn't think it would be that much of a blowout. So, and I predicted it before the game. I said it will be a blowout right before the game. I told everybody. Now I don't want to offend nobody, but this will be a blowout, and please don't take this ass whooping personal. <laughs> I mean the Seahawks, yeah, they're they're gonna be good again this year. I mean their division's tough, but Russell Wilson, what seventeen and one at uh, as a starter at home. Yeah. I mean that home field advantage they have in Seattle makes it really tough for teams to come in there and win. So I think even you know they go seven and one with their home games. Even if they just split their road games, go four and four, they're eleven and five. They're back in the playoffs, and especially if they get home field advantage again, it's just tough to go up there and win. Now, what do you think about Michael Sam being cut? Well, I just want to congratulate him for being the first openly gay player to be cut by an NFL team. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, No, the thing with Michael Sam is the Rams weren't a good fit for him to begin with. Like, they have so many defensive linemen, so it makes sense that he didn't make the team, even though he had a pretty solid preseason. It's unrelated to his sexuality. Uh, they might. It sounds like if he does clear waivers, basically if no one else picks him up, the Rams are going to sign him to a practice uh, to the practice squad. So, one way or the other, Michael Sam is going to be in the NFL this year. Well, good for him. What the <laughs> fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> no, Michael is this Sam- some kind of game or something that no, you guys are dude, talking about? We're talking I about don't the, understand talking about the language great, that the you greatest, are speaking. Besides boxing, in my opinion, I like boxing. Football is the greatest sports. And like I said, I, like I told you, Rachel, and everybody else, these guys are fucking nerds. Because no <laughs> way you make it to the NFL without being a nerd. I'm being 100% honest. <laughs> Wait, the people in the NFL are nerds? Everybody who becomes successful in life, Sean, yes. are nerds. Because <laughs> nerds. it takes that dedication okay. to become that good. They're you athletes. Have to, 
You have to be, listen, you have to learn that playbook. You have to learn how to execute that shit on the field. You got to learn how to be in the classroom. You got to know how to be with the coaching staff. You've got to learn how to deal with so much shit and still succeed. These people are fucking nerds of the <laughs> highest degree. And I mean that in the most sincere, beautiful way. I don't mean it as a derogatory term. I mean it as the most beautiful, sincere word possible but nerds nerds who are succeeding at what they've been chosen to succeed at well that is a it is weird how you know nerds, what I mean? how would you like to play in the nfl let's be honest i would love to play in the nfl i would love to play in the yeah NFL. but we well, i'd love to be we're not nerds good. enough to do it that's just <laughs> how it is baby i would not want to play in the nfl um, you wouldn't be able you wouldn't want to I, suit I, up I, no man, no, I can't play. What football. was your What was your dream? Did you have a dream sport you wanted to be? In I as wanted a kid? to be uh, Greg Lamont. Okay, or, AKA what's his name? Face the, the Live Strong Lance Armstrong. Oh, Lance Armstrong biking now. Yeah, Tour de France. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta be a nerd to do oh, that. Oh yeah, sixty five miles an hour is nice. Like it's a, uh, but it's it's a solitary sport. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a, yeah, and I'm very crushable. <laughs> so I don't like being tackled. You know, it's but, one of those like things. All the great, I like boxing. Like I like all I the box. great football boxing. fans. I mean, I box, but uh, I love. Boxing. I don't do football. I but now, like... Sean, how do people get to hear your sports po- podcast? It's pretty easy. You just go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com. dot com. We're uh, relaunching a new site, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. We do. And what the, day is that on? the The site, the new site's going to be up uh, tomorrow, so just in time for the NFL kickoff. And uh, oh, you guys pre record your show. Oh well. No, I mean the new the new website, the new design. Yeah, we'll have like weekly podcasts, basically previewing each week in the NFL. We're also going to be doing like weekly fantasy football podcasts. So if you're into that, we'll kind of tell you who to play, who to sit, and then also we'll be doing the DraftKings thing where it's like a weekly game. So you can, if you listen to the show, you can play against us in fantasy football, and we have like pick 'em sports gambling, all that. So. SportsGamblingPodcast.com. Can you help people win and lose money at <laughs> fantasy football? <laughs> yeah, can do all that. Oh, wow, that's pretty awesome. Tons of horrible advice to be had in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> the only people who really know what's going on in the NFL is the mafia, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, I mean, if you, if honestly, if I knew exactly what was going to happen week one of NFL, I would not be hanging out with you guys. No offense, <laughs> I'd be lying in a pool of money in Las Vegas right now. In I, Las Vegas, you know, I'd yeah. be trying and to maybe be... Walt would still be there hanging I'd be out. Like, hey, <laughs> Sean, can I come throw up in your garbage can, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> but it would be a much nicer garbage can. That would be the only difference. Diamonds and rubies in that motherfucker. <laughs> hey, take a picture this time. <laughs> Oh, man. Barfing in a ruby-filled trash can. That sounds like fun. Keeping it classy. Keeping it classy. Uh, So, Sports Gambling Podcast. That's a good name. I like that. Very simple. Sunday Show with Johnny O. Big shout-out to Ryan. The Sunday Show. Yeah, welcome, Sean, to the Sunday Show with Johnny O. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Shout-out to Ryan. Yeah, I mean, you know, from now on, every other Sunday, I'm going to be holed up in my house. Just consuming a yeah, lot we, of alcohol, fatty foods. Well, we we talk it's a vice about, overload on well, Sundays. Yeah, this has been a, a lead up question. It's funny that you're here because no, no, I we've this, been talking about this every week yeah. for the last couple of weeks. Like, what the <laughs> fuck are we gonna do when football season happens? Because yeah. Walton's got to go to church. <laughs> and got to pray the, is, to the Lord I'm that the Seahawks pray. win. Yeah. He's, yeah. Barf in someone's trash can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe in your purse. If he don't like you. But, <laughs> I've done that before. But yeah, so we, we're wondering because it's <laughs> it's officially the Sunday show with Johnny O and the great Walton Jordan. Yes. That's yeah. our long name. Find us at Twitter. Twitter. This, <laughs> no shit. <laughs> really. Is it at, uh, what's at your, what's your the Twitter Sunday hand? show with Johnny O and the great Walton Jordan? We have a, I didn't even <laughs> a Twitter. It's a long ass Twitter. Yeah. Uh, it's all right. It's search uh, search engine optimization built in from the start because <laughs> you want long, continuous strings of bullshit. Exactly. How are you doing with the nerd stuff um, on the podcasting? Because I hate it, man. I, I want to kill someone over the nerd stuff. You mean like getting the... Yeah, Stitcher and iTunes oh, yeah. and all that. Yeah, no, I'm doing all right. I mean, I, uh, I used to do some of that before I, I got some more writing work. I used to do more of that, like uh, computer stuff. For like websites, so so you are a nerd. Yeah, I'm a huge. John nerd. Green is a huge nerd. <laughs> loves Star Trek. No, no, I don't care you don't for love Star, Star Trek. Trek. 
No. Not even the original? Well, no. The original series, yeah. yeah. But okay, I mean, I'm see, not going to... No, he, he loves original <laughs> Star Trek because he's... Yeah. And he deep, is let's be a honest. hipster nerd. And deep so Space like, Nine had its moments. The Next Generation, who doesn't like John Luke Picard? But I'm not a star... Like, you can be a... Star Wars or a Star Trek, whatever. The same shit. Anyway, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> You can be a fan. It's like I don't. I like the show, but I don't even want to call myself a fan of the show because if you self-identify as a Star Trek fan, it's yeah. like a forty-five minute conversation. Yeah, I wouldn't say I was a fan, but so yeah. the show's on. I like I'll watch Captain it. Kirk because Captain I just Kirk like slept Kirk. with every beautiful woman in the yeah. universe. I just like William Shatner. What nationality? What color? The new, uh, yeah, and the like the, the new J.J. Abrams movie. If you saw that, that was pretty solid. It was, it was yeah. solid. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's. Uh, so anyway. Here has been a special segment. Sure. We always, uh, in our, our descriptions, yeah, we surprises, surprise guests are always a, a Sunday surprise. show thing. No, it's, I told it's you nice. uh, Logan was coming. Yeah, you told me that, Logan was coming because we got told, Logan Then I told the you yesterday's show was coming. No, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. The only person I left out was Melody. No, you didn't. <laughs> no. This is uh no we did to get some behind the scenes show here yeah some drama but there's no behind the scenes it's all it's all above scene man everything it's, I like that it's documentary oh. radio the man. open style radio yeah so do you guys want any uh want any uh, lead pipe I, locks for NFL Week One I feel obligated to yeah you should some. yeah Week well, One well, who, am I, who about, am I betting for if I'm an idiot this? I don't know do I'm just taking your Seattle advice who am I betting for by more than six points that's all I want to know yeah well I actually well here's the thing to me that game. Right now, the Seahawks are opening the ga- uh, opening the NFL season minus six at home Thursday night in Seattle against the Green Bay Packers. For me, that's a stay away because, yeah, traditionally I would like the Green Bay Packers getting six points on the road. What makes me want to stay away from that is how good Seattle's been at home. And the couple times I went against Seattle, I, I took the Saints last year with a similar amount of points, and they went up and they just got murdered. So I, I think that Seattle Stadium is going to be rocking. They're going to get their Super Bowl rings. The place is going to be fucking, the roof's going to be blown off. Now, so There's I, one thing I know. Now, okay, the only reason, I, I, I believe Seattle's going to win with all my heart and soul. But right. I don't think the stadium's going to be rocking as much because we just found out. Complacent. At, that large beer costs $1. $1.25 more, <laughs> and you're getting the exact same amount. For the small beer. You're paying you... the Super Bowl champ prices. Now they're Super Bowl champs, you can charge a dollar more for yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one thing I know about uh, middle class people is they hate being tricked. Yes. They hate being tricked. <laughs> now that's one thing. I, I They don't mind spending the money. I didn't that's factor never, that into the That's handicap. never the problem. But being tricked, God damn it, that is something they take very serious in Seattle. You know what I mean? So... I think that's going to have a hindrance in the crowd. Okay. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if that affects the betting line. But uh, gun to my head, I'll take Seattle uh, Thursday night, lane the six. I also like Houston, minus uh, two and a half at home against the Redskins week one. Yeah, I heard you one. talking about Houston, and you're still not too sure about Houston, but yet. Okay, you're not too sure about Houston, and you're right. not too sure about uh, Cleveland, but yet he's got Cleveland winning the division. So that was a surprise Cleveland. pick. Well, no, I. So what are our, what are our three topics? If we're because I, I the one sports gambler, very good one I knew was <laughs> three a week, and he do three bets a week. Yeah, and what what are what are our three bets? Seattle, Houston, and uh, no, he he said stay away from the Seattle. Yeah, I say stay away from the Seattle no, game. Seattle? If I had so, to make that Houston, pick, Houston, what about Houston minus two and a half? Um, let's see. Who else do I really, really like? I like uh, Detroit against the Giants at home. D-Rock. I think that's around four think, and a half. I think he's just trying to kick O'Ryan in the nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Eli Manning or RG three are gonna have good games week one. So bet against those guys and let's see, any sort of um uh, I'll give you the last pick. And this is a bit of a homer pick, but I'll take the Eagles. Eagles. Okay. Covering against the Jaguars. If you can get it. I, t- I would buy that. Oh, the it little at- I know about football. Yeah, but that's 11-point spread. Yeah. Okay. I, well, I think you can get it at 10. 11-point so spread at 10 would be points. nice. That's it. Okay.
Hello, welcome back. It's uh, RadioTitans.com. That was um, another surprise visit that we always do. Seems like we don't get a week where there's not one surprise. Like, ooh, surprise, look who's here. Okay. No, that's just my lifeline to uh, football because I don't get to watch football no, that's great. near as much or pay attention to sports. Sports gambling near. podcast. Yeah, Sean it's Green. just, it was you know, great. So I great have, segment. No, so I just got like a bunch of different outlets. But like, now. Or I can just go listen to guys talk about sports and that. I get like 10, 15 minutes of that and I, I'm good. And you're I good. Can make, I can make it through the week. You had your little jerk off session with the gambling and then you're good. Sports jerk off. That's what I call it. It's a yeah. sports jerk off. No, but I mean, I, but, uh, I, miss, I miss watching football. Music, but. music. We do it here all the time on this show. Music jerk off. You know, it's like yeah, oh. I, I don't know anything about sports. I didn't know that you guys like do circle jerks and stuff. So they they that's, do. That's completely new to me. Yeah, yeah. You knew about the band. I once, should get into though, it, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Mike, uh, no, love- everyone, welcome. It is. Let's let's be a little formal this week, man. Let's do what? It. No, I'm you, everyone. Formal. No, I'm wearing time. a tux with no shoes, yeah. baby. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I am simply in my g-string. It's, <laughs> it's been a little awkward for me. I haven't asked, but I don't. Know I know it's a it's a new image I'm trying to get from the dude from American Apparel. I heard he was cool, Don. Oh, okay. Hey, I heard so. that guy uh, sleeps with all the models. <laughs> he's, he's like, I mean, like, whoa, that. When I was, you revealed kid, my strategy, man. I like, mean, I heard that he has sex with a lot of them. And that's like a dream come true for a, for a guy. You know what I mean? To like own your own modeling. I mean like, oh, you're sleeping with all the hot models. Like, I mean like, man. Is you, that why? Like, you just want to shake his hand and be like, how you doing, man? Just like, okay, I'm going to buy some American Apparel now. You know, but only after you shake his hand. But until then, I'm not buying no American Apparel. So let's, let's talk some rock and roll people. Because it is wow. RadioTitans.com presents... I'm making the name longer as long as I can. I want to just create like the longest name. RadioTitans.com presents The Sunday Show with Johnny O and the great Walton Jordan. You just don't want nobody then, listening to On this Sunday. Show, what? People are illiterate, man. Most I know. People. That's all right. We're gonna. You, you told me it was like picture. on iTunes, and I was like searching. I was trying to search know, the it's, iTunes, it's, and I'm like I couldn't remember the the freaking name because I didn't have internet. I just had. I you just, just don't want nobody to internet. listen to it. Dude. I'm gonna I mean, just name like, everything. I did like, so many long titles and nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name everything like Enye or something. I don't know. We live in a easy. world where one O M G L O L. You got to catch up, brother. You know I, what I'm saying? I, I, I mean, can't stand illiteracy, bro. I can't I'm stand not, it either. I it. hate it. I hate it with a passion. But guess what? There's nothing we can do. They, I've just did research on this, and that's the way shit is going. They're going to make it. They're going to simplify everything now. It's going to get simpler. It's going to get more lazy. It's not. You're not going to have to do as much. Listen, man. The future is coming, and it is easier. I mean, okay. there's no other way to put it. The future has arrived, yeah. and that future is Operator Error. <laughs> Operator Bam. Error. Bam. That's the band we're here for today. That's that's cool. who, who I've got. I promise, people. I'm well, like, no, Operator well, Error. No, and look look who's here, Mike. Yeah, 50% of the band 50% is here. 50% of the band is, 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 is and yeah, that yeah. is beautiful. No, but he's in more than that, though. He's in, like, 35 bands. But, yeah. No, that was actually a first segment question I had today for Joe and you. Mm-hmm. Was, like, why would you guys start another band? Because you're already Why? in. Well, no, and then because it is like that's the thing with because Operator they Era. Love, they love well, rocking. Operator Era, which we just heard, Fukushima. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so from our, your new EP. Yeah, and unfortunately, Joe had to take off. I'll, I'll just say that right now. Yeah. His, his kid had a little accident, and he's his father. And he's going to the we were hospital. Ask so him about oh, father. No. So if, if everybody could send some good vibes, yeah. just oh, just Joe, send some great best, mental best energy thoughts, in his best way. Wishes. Hope you a little man put a yeah. guitar in his hand. I'm sure he'll be right back there with I you. I could man. put on my collar and pray. You know what I was just thinking about? I was just thinking about Joe. I swear to God, this week because I was I was just talking about Jerry and how uh, great of a guitarist is, and then I started saying, "But you know who you never think about as a really good guitarist, Joe, because you never really think about it. he's so like under the radar, but the dude yeah. is so fucking bad." What Walton's trying to say. No, he's a guitarist. Term, he's he's very it? smart in the way he plays. Yeah, Joe it's, plays it's like not he's like the he's edge. trying to blow your face off or anything. Well, he's, he's, he's actually no, but no, no, he does blow your face off. Though. Well, yeah, no, that does happen. But he wasn't trying to. <laughs> he wasn't trying. 
You know, he is so underrated. And I mean, like, you will underrate this guy, and this guy will just straight blow you the fuck away, and you'd be like, where the fuck did he come from? Okay. You know what I mean? It's always it's better amazing. to be underrated than overrated. You I know, agree. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You'd rather yeah. be an underrated anything than no, an he, overrated something. He totally blows you away, and it's just so, it's amazing, because it just lets you know. Stop judging. Stop thinking Fuka so much. Shima. You know what I'm how, saying? How could you not love that song, yeah. man? It's a lot of yeah. And so you play, big. you play, and it's no, two listen. guys. And it's that's the thing is, if people don't know, and they might not know, but it's two guys. It's Mikey here, Mike Gatzall from you, 18 Gatzel. million bands. Gatzel. I'm gonna say it however I'm. <laughs> oh, hey, that's Gatzall. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it's, With American it's, it's names, like baby, I'm allowed to. I no, think it's because no. I'm white. It's, it's right. German. It's I know. You should get it right. Nah. Get it, get it right. <laughs> hey, when this man become a big star, you'll have it right. So get it right now. I'm, I'm, problems. I'm from California. It's my second language. You know, I really grew up. Speaking you know, I just if you try to get backstage and you're you're telling the guys uh, I'm friends with Mike Gatall, they're yeah. not going to let you in. Gatchel. Gatchel. Yeah. I'm gonna that, say that's on my right. I'm gonna say I'm friends with the redhead one. Like Everyone. Satchel. Now move satchel. Like the back. Size, son. I'm good. I'm glad we yeah, did yeah. that. Oh, to sing Satchel and you got guys. Mike's a nice guy. Can I call you the redhead one? Sure. Yeah, see? That's not disrespectful, it, son. The I redhead mean, I, one. I prefer strawberry blonde. Uh, you know, the strawberry <laughs> blonde one. You know, hey, it's all but You know, the redhead one. You know, because that, that used to be a rap back in, way Let's, back in the days when I was a kid. The redhead one? Yeah. He's, not, he's strawberry blonde. He's not redheaded. Mike is true. It's, it, he's like a veneer. Instead of Acer, he looks like a <laughs> you know my, my my ginger has been sun kissed. Star. Yeah, like you you look at Mike and you no, you don't have the ginger you, you, to be in a rock band. You expect it just off looks alone. You know what I mean? So I'm sure you get that from a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. people people yeah. walk up to me and like you sing in a band. Yeah, actually, every you know. time I see you, you're surrounded by like. Seven women and three gay Just men. Bitches all over the place. And three gay men. That is <laughs> three the gay thing. Men. And three gay men. And they're all totally. And they're all just like just touching my hair. Touching his hair. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, <laughs> uh, just so everybody bed. know, this doesn't happen. <laughs> and then there's punk rock girls because he's a Jamie and the Smack. Yeah, that's true. Let's play Jamie and the Smack. Right. King of the last minute, Jamie and the Smack. Go.
I'm the king of the last minute. Yeah, I said I don't look back. I'm the king of the last minute. Yeah, I don't look back. I'm the king of the last minute. Yeah, and I don't look back. Don't look back. Jammy and the Smack. Boom. Bam. Yeah, that's some real shit that he just said in the song, though. Like, I, yeah. I can appreciate that. I'm the king of the last minute. Yeah. 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 I picked that yeah. one. That's a fun song. I yeah. did play it. I didn't, I didn't play that one live, or the, the recording. That yeah. Was, that was the old drummer, Lee Horcourt. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he did wrong, an exceptional job. Yeah, yeah. Too. So, but yes. I'm just but nobody is now. Mike Gatchel. Gatchel. Yeah. Gatchel. Gatchel. Satchel. 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 Put that bag on. That's yeah, I really, yeah. I'm a firm believer. Success comes to those who stick in there. You know what I mean? So, well, no, it's no. It also like you look. Know, like I was, if, we were like talking if, about if this off air. You get off replaced. Air. You get Hold replaced. On. Don't 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 be Wait. jealous. Don't be upset. We were talking about that off air though. But it, the Jammy and the Smack man, Jammy put together this really nice cassette package mm-hmm. that's like intentionally tongue in cheek. Beautiful, like the resolutions are off in certain places and perfect in other places because, right. because it's it's like that's how it should be, and the whole his insert card is hand cut and mm-hmm. hand signed, and then it's all wrapped in nice and you know shrink wrapped in, in beauty. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a, it's a cassette tape, but it's definitely and, no one has and then it's got the cheap labels. Well, I do right. have a cassette, yeah, and I actually do have. But cassettes, I, 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 I but love, I love the idea. But he always gets shit about it. Like every time he announces it, like when we're playing live, and they're like cassettes. Bleh. Yeah, but it comes. With but there's a free download, download in there. So the digital download Gotta business is where that. it's at. That's what but it there's is. There's a free download. Yeah, and you have digital a tape, download. and now you do have a cassette. Yeah, but yeah. I like you know I like guys who go against the grain. You know, because yeah. it's, it's, you know, you make it hard on yourself, but when you're confident in yourself, it will become easy. It might be rough in the beginning, but when you're good, it will become easy. That's a fact. Boom. Walton Jordan. It does become easy, you know. Does it become easy, Mike? Because it no. seems easy when you do it. I just make it look easy. I know you do, man. That's this right. guy, Mike. No, it's it's not easy. No. No, he's working hard when he's up working there. Working my ass off. Drumming his ass uh, away like crazy. Coming in the shows early. How many shows you playing this week? Upcoming. Um, actually, this week was like, there was only one show this week, which is weird, because normally there's at least three. At yeah. least three. Last week, was, was there was a lot of shows. So. How many shows? So I got you... some rest in this week. Took care of some shit. How many shows did you play on the weekend of Echo Park Rising? Um, How many, like, band... How many shows? Um, just two. With different bands. I, I played. I played with Jamie and the Smack for Echo Park, okay. and then I, th- I think there was a show the next night. I don't remember where it was. I think Galactic Smack. Yep, that's what it was. But you played in, <laughs> but you played in two bands. It's all night. part of me. Yeah. So you oh yeah, I did. I, so yeah, I played in band, three two sets. bands that same night. Yeah. Three sets that so, weekend. Westerner and Rivermaker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, Mike's that guy who plays in every band. Because he's a drummer. It's serious. Like, yeah, when you're a drummer, man, it's a good drummer is the number one thing that everyone yeah. should be. Kids, if you want to be a rock star and you're 15 and you're picking an instrument, don't pick drums. Pick the drums. <laughs> pick the drums. They I don't lie. Know. My mom, my mom, my mom, they my lie. Mom. They say that they have the hardest time, but drummers, nah, man. In this town uh, where music is made, a good drummer is snatched. Like my mom bought me some. Man, drums you have got to be Edgar in order to get snatched up <laughs> like a guitarist like that. But Mike, yeah. Hey, man. my mom bought me drums for Christmas, and by my birthday, January fourth, she took them away. <laughs> <laughs> well, they get these digital drums now. Like I, I had. Um, so don't you know you got? It's a commitment if you buy your kids drums. Yeah. Don't buy them drums and then don't. No, you can buy them the digital drums now. It's good. Yeah. They can learn on digital drums till they're like thirteen. You know, you can buy them digital drums in like five, and then 
Train oh, yeah, them, beat them while they future. beat them while they. Yeah, play. yeah. We're in the future now, Walton. Yeah, I want to be Joe anymore. Jackson if I ever have Fucking kids. Sweet. These kids can learn everything. No, I want to be Joe Jackson if I ever have parents. kids. I'm gonna raise my own it's Jackson win, Five. Win. Like the Owens <laughs> Five. You know, I'll name them all just, John and have five boys. Just and beat be them and make them dance. Menudo and like. <laughs> hey, I used to like Menudo. In English. That was the first Latin. We will figure out what Menudo translates to in English. Like that, literally, that was the the first Latin band I ever got introduced really? to. Really? Well, Menudo? dude, they came on TV. You know what I'm saying? And that was huge. I mean, they didn't come on no Spanish TV. They came on regular fucking TV. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a Ricky regular Martin. American TV. And the whole world got introduced oh, to Menudo. To little Ricky. Yeah, man. He was awesome. Ricky. Ricky Martin. People we didn't know. even know what they were saying, but we were watching. Yeah, we Menudo, like, yeah, man. You guys are great. That's yeah. that's from when me and Walt were kids. Yeah. You guys were all, yeah. Yeah, we I, just, I, Logan, I just saw How old are you, Logan? Logan? 30. 30. Yeah, you guys were all not even born. Yeah, that was no, a long were, time they, ago. They were awesome, man, because they Old would come man. on. They Listen to the Viejos, people. Day. All they made me want to do was just like, go to New York. Go to New York. Go back to New York. We had lived in Jersey, so we were close. We were, we were close to Philadelphia, but we used to go up to New York. You know what I mean? And uh, but I, I, I don't know, but just to be in the city, man, New York City, be in Los Angeles. Now we just got to hit Paris and Tokyo and... Uh, Beijing and well, we have the whole world complete. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. all those Arab countries like uh, Morocco and uh, no, we're going Asia. to Dubai. I heard Dubai. Walton's going on a tour of Dubai. I should. I, I should in, man. for Christmas. I should go on tour with like the Letters Home oh, yeah. and uh, Blind Al, and I would love for Jerry. Just, you know, I Jerry, you, I just, you know, J- Jerry Sandoval, whatever the fuck the name of your band is, yeah, go watch that that's, guy. That's Walton's personal favorite, apparently. Did they play last night? Last night? I was, he said he was playing soon. I'm not sure. I've not seen them play in no, like forever. No, I haven't either. Ever since the little drummer left. I mean, I ran into Jerry on Friday. Yeah. If, if oh, people really? don't know, yeah, we, we, Blind Owl, there's a third of Blind Owl in the house. Yeah. yeah. Oh, old Steven. Yeah. Old Steven. Mr. Troutman. Yep. Mr. Yeah. Troutman just got back from Barbados, my man. But he, uh, but we, yeah, he, Friday went to, was he went to fish and field the played. Spear. And we should like, talk about that because guy. Field played on Friday. <laughs> no, they did? Yeah. yeah. They did a. Sands, some members. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. It was still good. It's always the I songs think, are the songs are good. So like it the, it translates. When it you could, have it ten people in a band, it just becomes not a band. It's a collective. Yeah. No, what about Earth, Wind, and Fire? Well, that's different. No, that's not different. You know, actually, Phil has been on the station, right? And he he is all business, man. That man is uh, I I've I know that man. He's good. Like he God, and not only is he good, and he can he sing like the angels still. But he, he lives, like, perfect. Yeah, you know, like... It. No, he lives perfect. Like, he, he really, like, you know, does everything he can to, you know, live, like, a very healthy Christian lifestyle, really. No way, for real. Hell yeah. Philip Bailey. He's I always a, thought... No, no. No? No, he's married to his beautiful... Or, I don't know what the deal is, but Valerie, he's got... The, the backup singer Valerie Bailey. She's. I mean, all these guys. Are she's married. That's no big. I mean, come on. Most. Oh, come on. I'm just being honest. Dog. No, no, nothing, no. We nothing. we here on the Johnny O show support full normal. No, no, no. Monogamous no, no. Listen, Christian I got relationships. Wrong. Dude, there shouldn't be. Because that's you know what? There that's were our gay official people, stance. There were gay people before for, the for gays, word too. before a word was ever written. There yeah. were gay people. So how the hell can you hate on these people? I don't know. I no one should. One, just be yourself. It doesn't matter who you are or what you are. All right? Because before a word was ever fucking written, but before a man had even thought of writing words, there were homosexuals. Okay? So who the hell can tell you you're wrong? Is this from some, like, no, some, no, uh, honest, dog. some back honest. Are you doing recovered a memories that you from no, caveman days, no. Walt? Well, I don't, hey, were I'm you not, a gay caveman at once, ever? Maybe? No, definitely. I was the caveman with the club in his hand going to get the girl and the dinosaur. Because I was making shit happen. You can believe that. You would have been you can believe a that. good caveman. You would have... You know what I'm saying? I would have been the greatest caveman. I would have been a dead caveman. You know, as a matter of fact, if I would have been a caveman, <laughs> I'd have been the caveman who would have died been when fire. I was born. You know what I'm saying? Like I would have went into the firestorm 
grabs a piece of fire and be like, yo, we're going to harness this shit and we're going to eat well from now on, players. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Walton Jordan. That's right. Yeah, Walton Jordan. Hey, so let's get back to operator error <laughs> in Joe's Joe's absence because his we baby. We got lost in a firestorm. That's that's gonna yeah, it's gonna happen, you know. But so operator error, you know a little bit about the band that you're in. A little, you're yeah. Fifty yeah. percent. Yeah, I don't know as much as Joe knows, just because it's his band. Yeah. So <laughs> so it, it is his band. Yeah, yeah. It's Joe's baby. Yeah. It's uh yeah. So Joe started operator error. Shoot, I don't. I don't even know. He he's had that project for a while, um, and then I met him through Andrew um, from the Letters Home. So we we both Joe and I play in the Letters Home. And yeah, then, if people um, didn't know. Come on, who doesn't yeah, yeah. know that? Letters yeah. So home so is... we we started we started jamming together with with the Letters Home, and then he started bringing his his stuff to me, the operator air material. We just started jamming. Basically, the goal was for him is he he wanted to start playing live with the material. And not just by himself, so yeah, um, we decided just to keep it a two piece and and nothing else. So it's just drums and guitar and vocals. So and it's a pretty and, fat show, though. Yeah, yeah, we 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 try and make it sound Smack big, like, like yeah. at uh, Five Star. I've seen you guys yeah, four yeah. times, I think. Yeah, we were we were and doing a lot of shows it's, there. It's a lot. They were really it's, working out the material. So well, the the sound though is always totally a very expansive sound. I mean, mm-hmm. Joe. Joe, as a guitarist, is a very expansive guitarist. Exactly, can, yeah. and it's not in trickery with the with the delays and shit. People no, yeah. really listen to what he plays. He's not playing against himself on loops and stuff. No, no, yeah, he's it's playing all, yeah. everything yeah. him, and he just has the world's most incredible tone. Yeah, he <laughs> works a lot on that tone. <laughs> yeah, it is really incredible tone. Yeah. I mean, it's just, no, Joe, like, no. It, it's like not even playing a guitar when he plays it, because I could just imagine like playing yeah. on his tone. Oh no, he yeah, bites, yeah. like he, he you could bite, just kick that guitar as an it amateur guitar. No, no, he yeah, bite, yeah. he bite his bottom lick when he when he's getting into it. I, I see him. He bites. He gets into it, man. He gets, yeah. He gets deep into it. Oh yeah. 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 It's it's a nice. I watch all you guys when you guys are on stage, and I just watch your little quirks, and I I just love it. You know, it's like you guys get you guys like uh, I just you know. I watch everything, man. I pay really close attention to everything, and I really can't what quirk, think of you. What, what quirks do I have? Tell me about my quirks. No, I'm dude, when I, when I watch you, man, I, you, you I, just... I know. I got one. Like, you don't oh, panic. Oh, like, yeah. I didn't see you... I do. Hit, Dish. I didn't yeah. see you hitting the uh, the drum, and the microphone fell damn near right there on the drum, and you just kept pounding away, and you picked that microphone up, and you just adjusted it with one hand, and you were looking at the <laughs> microphone, and you stayed on beat the whole time, just like, boom, boom, and you yeah. li- literally took, like, 30, 40 seconds fixing that microphone, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, like, taking apart the microphone and, like, you have fixing a, it. And you have a listening it. look, you know, like you're listening. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I do look around look at everybody. Where it's like you have this listening on. look sometimes, yeah, yeah. where it's like, and Mike has as incredible hearing people. He does save attention. your hearing. Listen to this man on on uh, hearing safety, because it's not funny once you go deaf. Put earplugs in. Yeah, well, seriously, you will it's regret helpful. it later. Yeah. And the I mean, ringing in I, your I ears. I have to. Yeah. yeah. If I lose my hearing, like not just drums, like my job. Yeah, I do audio stuff. So. Yeah, he has yeah. refined he hearing because really he builds ears. beautiful microphones. I do. Beautiful microphones. Delicious microphones. Yeah. You could eat them. You, you wouldn't I wouldn't eat, eat them. But, yeah. They're too expensive to eat. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you got like, the money, I mean, baby. It's a high-class dinner. <laughs> yeah. And in a tubes, bowl with who wants milk. to eat a tube? <laughs> 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 really soggy it up. No, heavy <laughs> metals. It might actually kill you. That a microphone might. I don't know. It's, they're yeah, pretty big use, microphones. You could you kill someone some with them. And you some heavy metals, actually. and you, there's a lot of heavy metals in it. Sure. Right? Yeah. Like some brass tube. Brass tube. What about, is there any, are there any heavy metals in it? Or what, like? Molybdenum. I don't know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like lead. Iron. I mean, I'm sure there's, there's no lead. Yeah, I know that I, old transistors were made of, not heavy metals, but germanium. Which germanium's highly react like I think so, yeah. Health healthfully react. I don't actually know. Yeah. Does uh, uh does Rachel know? Germanium? 
Oh no, Jermaine! Actually, look it up, people. No, fuck yeah, it. Yeah. Wiki, wiki that yeah. shit. Germanium. I don't have Wikipedia. I'm not. Germanium I'm not, actually like I'm not they be on, on semiconductors. An electrolytic we, capacitor. There w- <laughs> <laughs> an electrolytic capacitor. Yeah. I know what an electrolytic. I don't know what electro electro capacitor is. Battery. It's a battery. It's oh, battery? Oh, battery. No. Why it's you guys gotta get really these big right? words on me? We can't give you like I need a battery. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, that's like somebody say. When you get to Third Street, go west. You like, hey, motherfucker, do I go left or right? <laughs> what are you talking about? You guys don't have to use these big words. When Whenever I get to should, Third we, Street, come on, go some left. of us guys are dumb. You know what I mean? You got to remember, we don't like saying we're dumb because nobody wants to admit being dumb. But don't make us feel dumb. You know what I'm saying? Help us feel smart by just using simple words. How about music? Music could be as complicated as it want to be because music. But it's is but it's simple to listen to. I like simple music. Like what? I like like you know where you can remember the hook and you can be like ah oh, you just remember the, the like the chorus the hook of the song because you might not remember the rest of the song but you at least remember the hook you know what I mean yeah. and then you sing it and like, people are like what you sing and you can be like oh you know that band and boom 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 and that's just good marketing and publicity for that band. It's all about the hook. It is all about the hook. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm simple. I'm simple-minded, and I don't mind admitting to it. I'm from a small town. I know most people got a lot of, uh, have hard problems admitting to being simple-minded and just being a simple thinker. Me, I like it because it's just who I am. I don't like thinking too much. You don't like thinking too much. At all, period. See, I like to think of myself as a simple philosopher. I like to think a lot, yeah. but I don't want to think about it too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Wait. One of those you got guys, him. You got him at that time. One boy. of those right. things that I do want to think about yeah. is the. Don't strain yourself. Yeah, don't strain yourself. It's all fun. Yeah. We're just here to listen to music and bullshit and have a little fun <laughs> on Sunday morning. Not go to work. And the whole my whole point. Why did you start your show, John? So I don't have to go to Sunday brunch. And work Sunday brunch. That's, That's a good excuse. Absolutely. <laughs> you ever work to Sunday brunch, people? It's hell. Hell really on know? earth. Hell on earth. I always love taking my mom I'd to I'd rather a, stay here in I the studio to and Sunday listen to music. Sometimes. Listen to Tulips by it's Operator Error on RadioTitans.com, the Sunday show with Johnny O and the Great Walton Jordan. Oh, well, reason I took her to Sunday brunch because I wanted to. <laughs> Yeah. 
dead man's broken heart. you left and I don't want to know and now I hear that you're back in town and it hurts me so We're never through. 
I'm not looking up what an electrolytic capacitor is because I don't care. College was so far away that I don't give a goddamn anymore. No, I'm going to go home and research this. I should know. You know I like, should know. Electrolytic cap- Where did that come in? How did that pop into your brain, Mike? <laughs> you were talking about something and then I lost track of what you were talking about. And then about. you popped and into the electrolytic about, capacitor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because, yeah, it's I should know this. My degree is in solution chemistry, so I, I know I've built an electrolytic capacitor before. Oh, shit, sure, yeah. But I don't remember... What'd you put in it? No, I mean, yeah. you put some salt and another salt and a little yeah. bit of buffer and... Mix it all up. Mix it all up into a couple chambers and then create a tube for the electrolytes. Like, you have to have a, a medium for the electrolytes to travel through, and then you also have an electrolytic bridge. Shoot, Look this I shit up, people. Look this now. shit up. An electrolytic bridge. So I think it's like a potato watch is an electrolytic capacitor. Oh, okay, okay. And I think that's Rachel's actually what his, an electrolytic capacitor might be. Rachel is much smarter than me, and, <laughs> and I, me. I, yeah, I don't know, but uh, the internet's smarter than us all because it is us all. True. Or so, maybe so the internet's w- not as smart as us. Wiki all. that. Yeah, wiki wiki, wiki wiki that people. Wiki wiki. I remember working in an office and like that was that was the thing like in a team team based office work working for the video games and mm-hmm. like you know there was always this point where it's like wiki that shit wiki wiki oh, yeah. just wiki it yeah. you know that's, it just that's became became the thing that you do in an office now when you have a computer around you I used to do customer support and like oh. basically all it was was me looking up shit online for people who didn't know how to look up shit online. There's actually a site um it's called um oh I'd have to find it but it's it's let me google that for you. Yeah, let me And so google you type that in the you. address and um like into the site and then it gives you a link and you give those the people the link and when the people click on the link it goes to a site that types it into Google for you. And then click search for you. I used that once. The it's person little, was not too happy. <laughs> a little I thought they meant I had a scripting. sense of humor, but they did not. So I've never used it again. Look that up. Um, let, let me Google that for you, let I think Google. is what it's called. Yeah, that is. Rachel's going to look that up. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Boom. Wow. 
It's it's a fun little little thing. How how ridiculous if you wanna, is the if internet? If you want to really fuck with people, man, I hate the internet. Even though we're live streaming you on don't the internet hate the right internet. now. No, I love the internet. Are you kidding me? It's changed. I would take a live feed in my brain right now, like Johnny Mnemonic style, like total. Yeah. Put the chip yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Yeah. Holy Same shit, thing. Brandon. We have uh, so, Brandon White so walking the last, around. Yeah. So in the middle of the last break, we heard a couple bands. I think the first one was Operator Error, which Mike's in. Yeah, yeah. What was the second band? Was, um, oh, In the Wake, Princess Pangolin. Uh, shout out, Julie Carpenter. Great okay. thing. I love them. I never get to see them enough. and They're uh, good music. Good I've local heard, music. I dug the track. Well, so. we got to hear it here. Yeah. It was beautiful. No, it was delicious. We weren't downstairs smoking a cigarette no, outside, no, because no. we don't advocate that. And then we heard <laughs> New World Blues by James Houlihan. Yes. Who you play? I love that song. In James Houlihan yeah. and band. Yeah. 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 It's another know. band that you're in, James Houlihan I'll and do, I'll band. I'll do a little announcement for James, uh, working on a, a new album right yeah. now. So. Yeah, he is so. working on a new album. Yeah. New World Blues, that was the last, uh, he made a little video. Yeah, yeah. Short, uh, sh- a yeah, beautiful check that, video. Check that video out. Yeah, James uh, Houlihan. Yeah, it's H- really good. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. He's Very engaging, amazing artist. You'll forget. Mike the world plays for with a him. Moment. He's got to be good. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Then we yeah. got River Maker, right? Yeah. Now the old River Maker. Two thirds of River Maker in the house. We do. That's right. We have we have uh, Brandon White sitting to my right. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello. Talking to that microphone, boo. Yeah. Hello. Bass players. Ah, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon, how long did it take you to grow your hair like that? Ah, uh, man, I've been growing this thing for about two years. Two years? Yeah, yeah. Used to have dreads, cut them off, and now I'm just going a little cool tacky fro thing going on cool. here. Is that what it's called, a cool tacky fro? Yeah, I don't, it's I don't know what it's fro. called. <laughs> it's got it's got a nice like I love the way that you you let it. You it's called the natural. My, yeah, it's the natural. natural. It's yeah. the natural because yeah. it's you haven't combed it out to where it's like, you know what. <laughs> Like the microphone ball, uh, no, you know, no. <laughs> it's ain't the, disco. It's not a disco fro. It's it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. this was the seventies. Disco fros are great too. Don't get me wrong, it, brother. But I would know. love any fro as <laughs> that soul glow. <laughs> <laughs> so glow. So glow. <laughs> I'm always jealous. I'm like, oh, I wanted a fro so badly. <laughs> All throughout my oh, life. Oh, you with a fro. That would be great. That Dude, would be seriously. Oh, you should get a fro rig. I can't. Like, it's just fro, fro wig. A fro wig? Yeah. <laughs> They're not the same thing. It's not the same. I, mean, it's all the same. I just wear my hair natural. Because uh, that's we've had this discussion. Right. I call mine the natural, too. Yeah. Mine's just the natural. I kind of cut it with the razor every once in a while. And that's, that's pretty much it. That's you know, right. Maybe comb it every once in a while. Comb out half of it. <laughs> Mike, you do that? You comb out half your hair? I don't comb it, I just tease it. You just tease, tease your... He does the, <laughs> tease and flutter. Know, like, Mike doesn't even... Yeah, he's he just wears product. He's got his good wax, and uh, that's it. No, I don't wear product, buddy. No? This is all natural. Yeah. There you go. He's, Mike has amazing hair, people. Amazing. Thank you. Walton has the best hair. I just keep mine cut off, and uh, I just keep it nice and tight. That's do you use Nair? Uh, no. <laughs> that would be crazy, though. <laughs> no. That's how you get those straight lines. Just uh-huh. just narrow it on. <laughs> put yeah. stencils in. Uh, <laughs> no, I just keep it. I, I went through the whole hair thing. I, I had dreadlocks before. I had a jerry curl before. I had a perm. I used to feather my hair. I used to, man, whoa. I was telling you, Walt, that's the thing. That jerry curl, man, that's something. Mess up a couch. Yeah, that Jerry curl. <laughs> yeah, but Jerry when, curl when is... you're when you're a teenager with a Jerry curl, you, I mean, it's like most teenagers, you don't give a fuck. You are just <laughs> going through the motion. You are just trying to look cute. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It was real, people. It was real. There were Jerry curls. I remember high school, man. Seriously, I, w- I was there were there were where I went to high school. We had people who had Jerry curls, and you could see it when on a hot summer Southern California day. Man, yeah. all <laughs> that conditioner is just like. <laughs> Nope, it's good. It ain't called it's, conditioner. It's I know, called it's activator. Activator. Thank you. Yeah. I knew that. That's okay. how you activate so I, the curl. It's been a long time since I bought any <laughs> you activator. Can't get it okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously. Do they even have that. They still have that stuff in the stores. Yeah. Oh yeah. They oh still, yeah. They sell the ninety-nine cent store. With Jerry curls, believe they, it or not. Yeah. 
They're no, still, they, it's still they in, the, in the 99 what? cent store. Where are those people at? Hollywood. I've seen, uh, seen them. I've seen them. There's a couple guys who walk down Hollywood Boulevard over there, and they, yeah. No, but I miss having long hair, I'll be honest, but it's just a, it's just a task. Especially, no, you just got to go. I don't know, Brandon. Like I, I think I, yours is easy, right? Uh, it could be some work sometimes. Something you know? what? As nappy as that shit is, no, that's hard work. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. You still have to, so so even though it's natural, you, you still have to work on it. Yeah, man, I got to get in there. It's hard to wash, man. It's thick. Yeah. It's that yeah. thick, bro. That, that dread scrap. Dread not, scrap. Not mine. Mine, no. unfortunately, is not. And then that shit hard to comb. You don't like combing it half the time. I was thinking about doing a new Oof. hairstyle. It's rough, man. Yeah. Hurts, hurts my wrist. I'm trying yeah. to <laughs> <laughs> go through it again. <laughs> Cramps. John, oh. you should get a bowl cut. That's. I was thinking. No, I wanted to do. I wanted to go bald. Literally, uh, like I wanted to go bald, and so cut myself the donut in around, and like keep it real tight and short. Oh, just like a fake bald. <laughs> like a thing. yeah, fake bald man. Yeah. And just like go for it for real, like an actor. Ooh, ooh rat tail. <sighs> I oh, I could yeah. totally do a rat tail. I've oh, done wait, a rat tail, and then do like the little the little piece the, on the front too. Yeah, remember the devil used lock. To do that? Yeah. It's a devil lock. Boom. Steven's out. Steven is Steven leaving. Anderson He's Trollman. Walking around, shaking He's hands. He's going out. Black Hole Pass. Where are you going, Steven? I am going to the Andromedan. Oh, Andromedan. Oh, yeah. Go record go, the next Monet. Going to my right. house. That's right. He's the next to Monet. Mike's going to Mike's house. house. Yeah. Full circle. Man, <laughs> if only we were better at logistics, you guys could ride together at Carpool. Yeah. Too bad. I mean, you know, drummers. And it would seem like, oh, man, two drummers, you know. There's the rivalry. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> it's Steven's in only one band, really. Yeah, he's only got it, it one was, band. It was funny. It was Friday he's night, and, man. and I was walking from Rafa's, just, you know, kind of hammered. And uh, up rolls uh, Steven and, and Yuichi. Just packed in a car with drums. <laughs> I saw and that. Like, you I saw ride? that. I was there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was so there. I squeeze it. So it's just like three drummers in one car, it, just packed with drums. I, was, I, like, actually, I, I think car. I made a That's comment awesome. because I was walking home, a little hammered, <laughs> and I was walking home, and I was like, I saw you guys doing. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. What are the odds of the three best drummers in L.A. all getting into a fucking micro... But like, what looked like a cartoon Fiat 500 at that time? Yeah, yeah. It was filled with drums and drums. I didn't think about it until, like, and drums. after I was out it's of the like, car. it's like, oh, yeah, we're bringing them over to your house, too. <laughs> Circus clowns over here. I got out of the car. I was like, what just happened? Because uh, the drums, yeah. They, yeah, yeah. Then it went to the house. And Good times. Clinton House. I'd like to shout out to Clinton House, which hopefully no one knows yeah. where it's at, but I've still not been there. There's a party there right now. Shit. You know why? Because it's Clinton House and it's a fucking party all the time. Yeah, it never stops. It shuts down like four party to two time. on party, party all the time. <laughs> My girl likes to party all the time. Party all the time. Party all the time. Uh, that's Eddie Murphy. Yeah. No, that's, that's Rick James. Rick, Rick, Rick James. <laughs> Rick <laughs> James. Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Came up that with that. Eddie, he wrote the song. That's Eddie he Murphy, wrote, dog. That's the song. Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Yeah. That's Rick hey, but that's, James. That is like a gold track forever. <laughs> like forever. It's beautiful. Forever, ever. It's great. Yeah, it's like, like in everyone's head. If die off and dinosaurs come back, they're going to be listening yeah. to the fucking party all the time. I mean, Eddie Murphy like, was the <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Murphy was the lead singer. God bless his soul. He did a great job. But Rick James, God rest. I mean, rest in peace, Rick. But you mm -hmm. did it, son. You wrote your friend a great song. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Take well, care, your buddies. But I'm out of here, guys. Well, you know, I you write, hit, guys. hit that metro. You guys are listening to RadioTitans.com. Check it out. Yeah, make sure you start listening, Stephen. Yeah. Why you <laughs> <talking about> <laughs> Touche, touche. Go plug Later. it in the metro. Blind Owl, people. Blind Owl. Check them out. Blind Owl, the band. They are one of the best bands. RadioTitans.com, as he said. RadioTitans.com. The yeah. Sunday show with Johnny O and the know, great if you're listening Walton, and Jordan. Know, if you had I'm happened just, across us how did and you get here? got an hour and what are you doing here? 16 minutes into the show and still not knew who we were. We are Walton Jordan. That's He's Johnny O. Yeah, I'm the large black man. He's the small white man. Um, it's I'm true. in love with six different women, and I'm only I'm sleeping all, with four of them. That's right. Um, I, 
I'm just going to find me on the corner hollering it. But bitches, I'm not sleeping with the know. one I really want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Mike Gatchel. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Hey, I had to close my eyes and hey, remember Johnny, it. Like busiest I just, drummer in, in Left handedness. <laughs> left handedness. That's what it was. It's, it's, uh, I'd close my eyes and think of a satchel yeah, in order to say that to. word. Like, like a bag across yeah, your shoulder. Yeah, my phonetics just will not allow me man to purse. say it. Because it should be Gats Hall. Like, mm, no. I know. No, because there's an but SH in there. G A T T S H. Oh, it should be Gats Hall. I'm going to pay somebody to teach me how to say your name correctly. I like, just, it's... Just, where'd Logan go? <laughs> did Logan did leave? Catch. Logan left, yeah? No? Maybe? No? Is Possibly. there any English professors Lice's taco. Out there? That's how I read his last name. Lice's taco. It's Listeco or something, but I can't read it anything but Lice taco. Oh, Johnny is a... <laughs> Johnny's an old the worst school taco. racist, and he can't help us. It's true. No, it's not. He should have been That's born we're in be eating in so Lice tacos. <laughs> Ew. Just growing our own lice tacos. That's why all that hair. I like scrumptious. I like a lot of hair. Who here thinks Johnny's been reincarnated like a couple times? Oh, absolutely. Once or twice. Absolutely. Sure. I was a Mongol at one point. I I remember. No, you, I did you, some regression work, and I was a, a Mongol. You were a slave owner. No, I was a Mongol actually. <laughs> it's a small Mongol. I am not big enough to be a slave owner, buddy. You think about it. You meet those old white men. I've met those guys. Like the old white man. Like you know. They're six, you know, German, no, ish, they're, six they're, foot five, large yeah. Dutch, yeah, mm-hmm. and they're huge, huge, and it's just like, how are we related, you know? <laughs> I, and yet the funny thing is, is that like, my baby sister is that like she she got those genes, and I got the small genes. And, like, there was this roll of the dice where, like, nope, I ended up small when I could have been six foot seven and 280. Lean. You know, lean, lean, lean at 280. You know, but nope, I ended up uh, five foot eight. Yeah. One, 195 pounds when I'm really, really, really fat. But I'm, I'm totally. So, uh, your, your sister's the one carrying all the bales of hay. All those bales of hay. Also, when you said baby sister, I thought, like, baby mama. And I was like, wait, how does that work? No, that's gross, Mike. My baby that's sister, gross. like, you're. you're no, my baby kid? mama. <laughs> no, that's gross. That's gross. He's not Come from on. the backwoods, yeah, man. man. I was confused. I'm from California. <laughs> we got plenty of people. Yeah, yeah. That's like Cleopatra when she married No. Him. <laughs> and then people wonder why he winded up dead. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it was her brother. Fuck. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Mistakes were made. Yeah. Mistakes, Mistakes were made. Who the hell wants Babies to... fell. You know, it was just funny. I want to get back to By the to way, it. yeah. Babies, babies fell. fell babies fell, man. Yeah. That's, that's, right. back, back to Joe. That's that's horrible, man. I, I haven't heard back. I, I yeah, texted yeah. him. I, all right. Let's listen. So, yeah. No, we're just going to send out yeah. good vibrations. To yeah, no. We all yeah. send a prayer out on because Sunday. Because Joe's son is the future the baby's guitarist good. of America. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's a good family man right there. No, he's going to be an oboist. An oboist. Yeah. Because they always get work. A bassoonist. Hey, that's a good instrument. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They always get work, man. Yeah. That's like better than a drummer for work. Yeah. Because like bass no player is a good a gig. Bass player, you can often like. Yeah, yeah. Brandon, what do you think? I mean, I love the bass. I start off playing guitar. But, you know, something about that four strings. People just feel it. You yeah. don't hear it. You just feel it. I'm inside of you. Brandon makes the boom boom happen. Boom boom. That's right. Yeah, you guys, River Maker, man. But it you can, still it play thump. guitar, I'll, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Still play guitar. You know, my acoustic is my baby. You know, I go over there at home, all alone, sitting under the tree in the backyard, my oh, avocado so you get, tree. You get George Harrison and just let yeah, your guitar weep. My garden, yeah, yeah, my garden. Get all zen. And I, I heard River Maker's got a new, new album coming. Oh yeah, new yeah. EP coming in the yeah. works. It should be... Uh, That's what I've heard. It should be out I think and about. you told me this, too. Yeah, it mm-hmm. should be out and about in December, we're looking yeah. at. Yeah, we just finished putting all the tracks down uh, over at... What was that grandma's place? Uh, grandma's House, House of Babes. Yeah, Grandma's House of Babes. Yeah. Mm. Where's that? Hollywood. Yeah, it's, it's, right by, <laughs> yeah. it's right by the Sunset right? Gower Studios. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. There, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a nice Starbucks over there. Yeah. That brand new Starbucks? Yeah, you can, yeah. You can get I'll some good over weed there. over there. What? You can get some good weed over there. They, they, in the where? Starbucks? Not in the I Starbucks. Right that on the is there a dispensary there? there or they're no, just, there's, there's just always somebody rolling something outside. Oh, okay. You know, having a coffee, rolling a joint. 
That's yeah. fucking Hollywood for you, man. Yeah, that's down you can't have LA, a... Hollywood, Los Felix, yeah. all over California, my friend. <laughs> yes, we have a good time. We like it. Now, the other day I had a conversation with a Mexican native who's newly here into California for about I like love- nine months. And then my other to my other buddy is, who's who's been here for twenty two years, you know, and he was we were talking about weed, and it's like, oh yeah, I want to go to Tijuana, and Tijuana, it's like back in the day, you used to go to Tijuana, you would get, you would get pot mota, mm-hmm. you know, and you Tienes would get mota? yeah, you right. would get mota, and and it would be better than it was here because it was fresher because it all came from Mexico, but now no shit's different, man. It comes from California. Yeah, they got shit weed in Mexico. We got the best weed in the world. Yeah. That's Holy right. shit. That's right. Walt Jordan, what's your strain of the week, bro? My strain of the week is Master OG. Master OG. That's it's a good a, one. Can indi- name that after you? Is that an Indica Sativa hybrid? No, it's actually just an Indica. Just an Indica. And it's just to make your body relax. And nice. And it's just... A Good master for that medical, of man. relaxation because it will master your body. Make you calm everything. It calm. Make you cal- it'll make you a little lazy because it is an indica. But you don't need the, no help being lazy. But the good though. side is it will give you that. Stu- man. It will it will <laughs> it will relax your body and and make you like even if a problem comes up, it'll make you stay relaxed and be like, okay, how do we fix this problem? Instead of just jumping up and be like, oh, God, we got it. You know, it's stressing yeah. out. Like, someone can say someone just died that's important to you, and you're like, okay, well, let's stay calm. Let's stay cool. Let's be rational about this. Let's be very let's rational. Let's be rational, people. Right. And let's get the money together. Let's get it through. And then you'll cry, like, once you come down from the weed, you'll be like, oh, my God, that's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I don't Damn, think I even want to know the story. I don't even want to know what happened there. What story? Yeah, I mean, we were talking about strain of the week. Master OG will just keep you super Super relaxed. nice. Strain we'll, of keep the you, week. We'll make you forget your wife is dead. No, I mean, it'll, it'll relieve all the strain no, right, of the, the week, you, man. The That's what it's there for. And be like, hey, your wife is just in a horrible accident. You're like, whoa. It's all Good right, I got man. insurance. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, let's... I got Geico. Geico. <laughs> that little lizard comes out. <laughs> let's cut back to some more music, heavy. guys. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, let's yeah. listen to more music. I want to get as much music in every week. I wish I could just play records all the way through, but, but got? I, got I'm too much of a narcissist that I have to come here and talk. We got um Blackwater Jukebox. We're gonna listen to Blackwater Jukebox because they fucking kill it. Love them. Yeah, Holy yeah, shit! Very, yeah, they're they're doing some moogie boogie, blah blah blah. Mm, beautiful, yeah. great, great. Their shows are f- insane. Crazy. You, the, we the, were the there last... at at Rafa's on Sunday, right? I was not there. For Holy that. shit! They were in their underwear. Yeah, yeah and I they, saw the pictures. Dude, like, it was I missed, nuts. It was so. Missed, it was a hundred and sweaty dudes seventy running degrees around in, in there. there. Yeah. Humidity was a hundred and forty. Like it was literally like swimming. In a boiling water, in there, <laughs> <laughs> there were so many people. I thought the floor so, was so going to come death. through. Finally, I was like, "Yep, it's going to be one of those things yeah. you see on HuffPost." Like, "Oh my God, shitty nightclub in Los Angeles falls through the floor," <laughs> and they just killed it. And luckily, no one was hurt. Well, probably a couple of people, but it's, you well, know, who is this? it was Blackwater Jukebox. Let's hear it. Oh, Heave yeah. away, aka.
Es un tambor 
Titans.com. Yes, welcome back. That was Ampersand with no D. Johnny O just from got uh, Mexico City. Cocaine. Learn your what? I said Johnny O just got finished sniffing cocaine. I did not. That's not true, people. Oh, was that heroin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, drug jokes are always funny. Um, By the way, do not snort heroin. Don't <laughs> snort heroin, <laughs> people. For God's sake, what are you doing? Stay off the white horse. <laughs> if you're gonna snort anything, do not snort heroin. You know, there are certain drugs that are safely administered intranasally, but no, not that one. No, not at all. Never. God. Sometimes people sniff things. Sometimes. No, kids. They can't help it. Stay away from drugs. They just drugs. like sniffing. We advocate hey, only coffee right and medical marijuana here on the... <laughs> on the Sunday show with Johnny O here on Radio Titans. The great what Walton Jordan and I... What? Advocate yeah. only coffee, locally sourced, direct trade. We coffee, take coffee for adults co- and cocaine for kids. <laughs> <laughs> we give them crystal. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. Share this Man, coke with Mike. Sorry. Oh, that's horrible. Oh yeah, share this coke with Mike. <laughs> what is up with that? Right, that whole whole uh, ad campaign is yeah. like. Oh yeah, share your coke, bro. Can we, what? I, I got twelve ounces. I'm gonna give somebody this. Like no, I, I've, right. I'm fully of this opinion for a good six, seven years now that all advertising and marketing departments, since I worked in video games, marketing department is always controlled by a bunch of cokeheads. Who, how they come up with their ideas is at four thirty in the fucking morning after playing Grand Theft Auto all night long, coked up out of their mind. Now you see so how much drugs. Is, and that's. Actually, the truth. Like it drives corporate America, people. That's why I'm bad at corporate Do America because be I don't love cocaine enough. That's Sorry. That's, okay. how, that's how you get that uh, that corner office yeah, with that, the window. Yeah, you're not gonna get be a good at the cocaine, man. Right. No, sniff a cocaine. You sniff a cocaine. Get. Yeah, maybe. Cocaine is America's treat. No, it's horrible. People stay off drugs. President Reagan sniffed So that game. band, though, was how well Ampersand. Reaganomics. They're it from works. Mexico City, where they have vanilla-flavored cocaine. Ooh, Mexico what? City. Yeah, yeah, it's a very refined place. So, like, they have vanilla, strawberry, coconut, pina colada, flavored cocaine, where it's, like, cut with, like, proper esters. It's about time. To be you know, they got flavored vodka. Flavorful. You know, wow. like, it goes down when you get the drips. It's, like, it's, it's, uh, yeah. Way that to stuff. Yeah, it up, America. You know? Way to step Wait a step. No, that's that Mexico, Mexico, dude. Way to step it up, Mexico. Mexico Thank you very much. Mexico is pretty much no, America. You. Mexico you is know? kind of like South is like, like. Well, those are Americans. Those me. are our I'm shoes, sorry. man. Mexico America. is America's boot. You know, if if Canada yeah. is America's hat, Mexico is definitely America's boot, and it kicks ass. It kicks ass. You know, you got every nationality living living. In Mexico. That's true. Like, you will see blacks, you will see... And they live yeah. there. Yeah. Whites live there. Yeah. Mexicans, really? They, they have Chinese, stable communities Japanese, out there. Oh, yeah. Arabs, Persian Jews, every fucking race you could think of lives in Mexico. So, Are they, uh, that's Aleut- America to me. Aleutian? Mm-hmm. Aleutian Islanders, maybe? Yeah. Because maybe. you're supposed I don't to know. Have, You know, it's the great melting pot, they baby. We're all coming together swami. and we're melting together. That's what it's all about for me. It's like a delicious salad. Yeah, you know? it's like a delicious salad. I like salad. delicious salads. I like yeah. delicious salads. I have a rule for making a salad, and it's five things. I, I, I stole this from my homie, mm-hmm. and it's five things. You need you need lettuce, you know, greens. What, what kind of lettuce are you running? Romaine. Doesn't matter. Romaine. Doesn't matter. Romaine. It's just a general formula for how, how you build a salad, okay. right? In a man house, you know, that's, that's how you build a salad. It's greens. Green leaves. It's green leaves of some sort. Onions. Make sure you get onions protein. Because I hate when people don't put cheese in their salad or eggs. nuts and nuts. fruit. Ooh, nuts. nuts and that's yeah, that's, that's how you build it. It's that's those five things together. If you put together something like that, oh yeah, that's a salad. You're good. You're ready to go. Bum bum bum. Fuck it. Walnuts it's and nuts. feta cheese. Well, it's totally forest forest meal. Protein. You know. Yeah. So you throwing some dressing on that? Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, some sure. goddess dressing from Trader Joe's, man. Oh, that's the only thing I buy. Uh oh. Radio God Titans with the goddess dressing. In no, there, man. Yeah. We, we would love Trader Joe's <laughs> as a sponsor, people. <laughs> Holy shit. Trader I can Joe's. just imagine pallets of Trader Joe's <laughs> everywhere. Like, <laughs> just boxes of hummus. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, just cases. Just a pallet of hummus, dude. I mean, 
so carved like, out for I like days. Hummus. I didn't oh, think I would bagel, like hummus, bagel crackers, but um, it's uh, really good. Yeah, I like good. I like yeah, their yeah. jalapeno cheese crunches, and they don't have them all the. And then I like their politically incorrect crackers, the Oriental crackers. <laughs> like I, I always like, yeah. Hey, where are your politically incorrect uh, what, what, Asian American what's, crackers? What's please? the deal with Oriental? Like that's a it's terrible West, word. I know it's horrible, and what? I can't what? imagine what? like what? Trader Joe's still sells like you know the cracker mix. The sp- you yeah. know with that <laughs> on the label, or- it's like Trader Ming's <laughs> fucking Oriental. Oriental. They, they should change mix. it to like I mean, Ching Chong Bean Bong crackers. Asia is the horrible. biggest continent, and you're just gonna everybody we just Oriental. Damn, that's. Yeah, that's a total different story. Man, I, I don't know where my ancestry is, man. It, you know, being an African-American, when I have to bubble that in on a little survey, I'm like, damn. I don't even I know. Always, I, don't I always even know. just put American. Like, they like, I'm well, black. I just put American. You know, that's not even a selection. You got you to gotta select no, no, other write and write it in. I scratch everything no, out. I was, was, I was right African-American or black. Yeah. Black or African-American <laughs> always because fuck you. Tell me I'm not. That was, that you, was actually a movement. Like pre 9 11, that was kind of a movement, was this thing where it was like, because we were in the end days of, of, I don't know, open racism. No, you know, like it was to be racist, racist, racist and be comfortable with it. it used yeah, to be something like, like people. Yeah, yeah, they could be, be like, that's just how racist. I was raised, you yeah. know, like where I'm from. That's. <laughs> <laughs> No, people, no. Is Racism is wrong. <laughs> There's no I'm bullshit. Racist jokes are funny. Sorry, Mom. What's up? There's a lot of talking. I said, <laughs> how, how, how rampant is racism in Ohio? Where in Ohio. From? Not that very rampant. No. Things have changed. People are nice. Happening. People are nice. There's, I mean, no, there's you'll run, in, you'll run into a couple situations every once in a while where it's like, yeah, this like is definitely white. racism. Like, you're white. They're going to tell you the truth. What's up? Like you're all white, you're you're a really white guy. You yeah, I am. I am about as white as you get. Yeah, I do not say like like I can turn so, so, yeah. I can imagine other white people yeah. being comfortable saying the word nigger in front of you. Well, no, there we <laughs> And not talking much about it. No, Bomb. that word uh, does not. Yeah, that's not fun to say. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying other people. I'm not saying you. Other white people? You're from Ohio. Yeah, homie. other white that's people. a pretty racist state. Yeah, like how I've often do other Ohio. white people say that word yeah. over there? I've been to Cleveland and outside of Cleveland and the Midwest do not. I mean, they, they like to keep things together, as I should say. Like or white, yeah, white, yeah, black, black, black. What are you trying to say? Yeah. Well, huh? what, what was the tonic huh? of your what you school, to say Mike? The- <laughs> what was the tonic of your school? You, you go, no, I'm just go saying. School, uh, in the Midwest, the they, they are real separatists. Like even, no. like even if they don't hate blacks, they don't want nothing to do with blacks. You no, know what that's, I mean? that's definitely not the case. Well, really? it's, not. <laughs> it's not. No, I don't no, think so like, either. It's I, I, I was brought up. I mean, there was like three black people in my school. But Whoa. it was it was never hey, like, too, like a wave. thing. Like, and, wow, <laughs> really? But same thing in my school when yeah, I was crazy. in elementary school. And uh, I think there was like, like twelve Walton at grew up, mine. Walton grew up like that too, where yeah. he was I think like there one was like of 12. twelve blacks at my at my. Like, so we were pretty progressive. Yeah, yeah all right. It was like uh, eight hundred in my high school. Damn. There, I goes, went, there goes the neighborhood. I went to a large <laughs> inner city, like think, outer. You know, I, I, I went to Fontana fucking high school. Yeah, man, come on, like. Shit, Steelers, every year we had a Deadpool who would get shot first in the t- first two weeks of school. Because there was a fucking shooting in the first two weeks every year I went to high school. That's what inner city high school in the 90s was like, bitches. Go back to your fucking computers and fuck off. Um, sorry. I know people worry about oh, cyber, cyber bullying. Man. Cyberbullying such like, a big Like seriously, I had, I had recurring yeah, nightmares bullets. about getting shot in the back <laughs> in my senior year of high school. Like I, it was vivid detail. Like I didn't know there was a sound. I didn't know what happened. And then I feel this warm warmth coming out my liver. Oh my god, I'm gonna die here, right in between the fucking math and physical science building. Wait, this happened? I'm lost. It's it yeah. was a dream of really? high school. Was school. it a dream or did that actually? No, happen? it was a dream. No, I never trauma. been shot. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never been shot. I've been stabbed, but never shot. I've been stabbed. I've been <laughs> shot at. I've been, been shot at. Yeah, I've been stabbed a couple been of times. Shot at. Pomona. It's, yeah, Pomona. I've been. I've been. I've been, 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 been jumped by a bunch of dudes 
I've and never been jumped. I've avoided the jump my entire life somehow. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm too smart fast. now, too. I'm too I'm fast. Too fast. To get yeah, I'm, I'm fucking out, dude. I'm out. But, well, I was, well, check this out. I got jumped by some dudes because I was wrong neighborhood making out with the wrong girls. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Classic Walton. That's, that's Walton Jordan for you. The great Walton Jordan. <laughs> Walton Jordan. And you know how guys are. They protect the women in their neighborhoods. And they yeah. were protecting the women, and I got knocked out, and, uh, I got one of them, and it felt pretty good. You got your ass. Hey, if they were treating though. their women right, you never would have been in that, right? Well, you know, you ain't got to. They they probably were treating their women right, and they just came in with a little alcohol and the right words at the right time. And <laughs> let's let's happen. listen to more operator error people because we're running out of time. Uh, well, yeah, we are. Um, I hate to think anybody would treat a woman. Iron wrong. foot. Iron foot. You know what iron I mean? Iron foot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Operator error. Oh, you guys should let. Uh, Joe Dewis Led Zeppelin. On the radio, RadioTitans.com, people. And Johnny just did some crystal the meth. Sunday the show meth. with he's Johnny O. He's always high on drugs. Remember, Johnny O is, is completely a created character. He's, he's crazy, yo. He's, he's crazy, yo. He, he may come after you, dog. Don't even. Don't he's even on, get him going. He's on heroin and 15 meth. different things, man. They got, like, names. You don't know if he want to be up or down. Or down. And Benny's. He's all around. That's what. Too high to get over. Too low like, to get under. He's uh, just been chain smoking whippets, you know? <laughs> whippets. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Chain smoking whippets all day long. Just Johnny one is after another after another whip of a whippet, dog. Then a little amyl nitrate. Some. Uh, I'm not going <laughs> Anyone who knows what amyl nitrate is for. 
Johnny used horse He's tranquilizers probably gay. on women. And I mean that. Yeah, and he means that. I mean that. <laughs> I love I love being gay. One of the best things when I came out as gay in America. You're gay? Yeah. Oh, wait a second. I didn't know. Wait, that. am I? I, I don't even know. Are you These labels are stupid, people. Are you happy? Or are you? Well, I'm gay? happy. We're, I'm we're happy. all born gay. Yeah. You know, just naturally. It's naturally. Yeah, but are you taking like... It's just because uh, it's getting so sweaty in here. It's like that bathhouse I went to one time and... Uh, and got raped can't by talk Russian. about that he on was, the air. He got raped by <laughs> Russian mafia. I thought I was just going to get a shower. After snorting cocaine. It's so much more. Hey, they drank vodka, snorted cocaine, and then Johnny got raped. No, it wasn't rape. It was a song called Johnny Got Raped Again. Johnny Got Raped Again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, man. I shot Johnny uh, in the back again. No, Johnny mm. got raped again. We shot him on the back again. We shot him We're not going on to shoot the back shot again. Shot him on the back shots, right? We're not shooting mm. this Back Johnny. shots, that's, that's horrible, that's, people. Uh, we're going to shoot out. Man, Show him uh, what have we done fire. to ourselves? Friendly fire. <laughs> let's, let's, uh, Charlie Murphy. Let's get back to the theme of the show, which is you're Charlie one of Murphy. the 14 bands you're in, Mike. And yes. operator, <laughs> and I had a question for you and Joe. Sorry, the baby. We know how fatherhood is going for Joe. Yeah, stressful, so, obviously. Stressful, obviously. Yeah. Kids, shit, man. Oh. Kids I hate the cool. cats. I don't even know. Like my roommates got cats, and I kind of <laughs> have to take care of them sometimes. I'm like, has fuck this. Two cats. It's, oh, they're not your cats. Okay. No. He's turning into the cat lady. I would only right have a little itty bitty oh, dog. God. Like, a like chihuahua. literally, his roommate. Yeah, turned into the I cat like lady. chihuahuas. I like um. I like the uh, little, um, uh, I like my, my miniature what schnauzer is the greatest said? dog on the planet. Oh, wait, toy poodle. it doesn't poodle. live with me. Have you ever seen a toy poodle? Toy poodles. Oh, we have fuck. a six pound so toy poodle cute. at home called Dudamel. Oh, Dudamel. And his name is Little Dude. And that's, yeah, at my mom's house in Claremont. Yeah, this little dude lives out there. He's beautiful. He's like eight pound toy poodle, gray, uh. little yappy fucker. <laughs> love those dogs. I love small dogs. My auntie raises giant dogs, like Great Danes and, and oh my God, stuff. Oh, shit. And I hate those dogs. Like, they're dicks. Little dogs, my, they can uh, be a dick, but it's it, all right because they're like 10 pounds. Like, my friend funny. had like two Great Danes and like, normally he wouldn't let people in the house just because yeah. those dogs like did not like people. But he, yeah. I went into his house one time and he's like, just don't look him in the eyes. Just don't look him <laughs> in the eyes. And I did for a second and it was like... Rrr. I've had one. But it, I mean. sat down and, and like, it just... Stood in front of me yeah. and just stared at me the whole time, Great and it's like aggressive. towering above me. That's bullshit. Like, yeah, I've had no, one throw me twelve are, feet, are man. <laughs> I've had one throw no, me. They, they grab you by the ass and they, they move you. They don't you. have to be aggressive. They're like they bouncers they don't, they don't of the dog aggressive. world. They're intimidating. That's what they. No, they're like right, the bouncer of the dog aggressive. world. Yeah. They just they pop in. They move you out the way because they will usher you away. They'll just grab you by your ass and make you go wherever they want to. They're not going to tear you up. They're just going to say, "Hey, no, like a Rockweiler and a pit bull. Those are well, pit." Anyway, dumb. By, by Hold nature. on. Off of dog talk, we have a show on Radio Titans called uh, the Dog Training Show with Tanya. Right? That dog training, that dog training show. Thank you. <laughs> um, oh, yes. Thank you, Rachel. Oh, Rachel Odo on the boards today. We're almost ready to wrap up, guys. So I want to finish asking Mike the big question today. Okay, we're gonna get sidetracked again. <laughs> How's it going being in fourteen bands? Fourteen bands. Being unfaithful. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's about seven. Poly so it's And yeah, it's yeah, it's busy. I'm always busy. I'm at a practice. I'm at a gig. So, happy, But I love it. Happy to have you here in the studio today, yeah. man. Yeah. And we're going to outro with, with the last track from the new EP from um, Operator, Operator Error. Error. There you go. And uh, I just had to find my O. You know? <laughs> oh, oh, Operator Error. Oh, Operator Error. Grab, grab Brandon, your OE and listen to some OE. Brandon, seriously? Rivermaker? You guys got a show coming up? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll be, uh, what are we doing, Saturday? Uh, the soonest one is the 6th yes. at yeah. 5-Star Bar. Oh, yeah, the 6th, 5-Star Bar. That's the show we should pimp right now. Bye. Yeah. Everyone, check in later. We are now going to go out with the last track. It's called Marley, right? Yeah. Marley from yeah. Operator Era. Uh, Jacob Marley. Jacob Marley. Is, That's is the it, name of the song? Is it, is it just Marley or Jacob Marley? I don't know. I don't know. He didn't say I, my I, full I names, name actually. Um. But uh, we're gonna end out with that, and then we're gonna hear a little bit of Feel, who played, who oh, appeared nice. in a in a thing on Friday night, and is also gonna play next nine eleven, nine eleven playing with Black Hole Pass Freedom Day. See you guys later. Have a great day.
The but Sunday yeah. Show with Johnny O and the great Walden Jordan. Thank you very much. Thank Mike you guys. Gatchel. Mar- Satchel. Brandon. Yes. Yeah. Brandon. Although it sucks because hey, on Facebook you you're Maurice. You yeah, that? that's my, my mother named me Maurice. Yeah, so. so, hey, so. He, he almost called you Blackie. <laughs> Come on, dog. <laughs> Seriously, well, Oh, yeah, right. He's Blackie. And that was, I mean, Walden's the most racist person. I, I told in the you room. that was my because uh, it's the oldest. You're more, you're more oh, racist than Ohio. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Brandon Rivermaker, we're uh, we're gonna drop that album. Oh yeah, here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. When Rivermaker gets their gets their EP out, we're gonna listen to it here for sure. Yeah, absolutely. won't be the last time. I would it's not the first time. Always a and, pleasure. And uh, it's me, Johnny O, Rachel Oda on the boards. Let's go out. Thank you very much. August thirty first. 2014, the great Walton Jordan on Walton the Jordan. Sunday Show the great, the great. with me, Johnny O. Walton. RadioTitans.com. Jordan, Jordan. Peace. Making love to sweet machine Drive me wild
Titans.com, the Sunday show with Johnny O and the great Walton Jordan. See you next week.